chocolate sauce. Today, we're going to make chocolate sauce. And we're going to use this recipe from Coca Lot, written by the goddess of chocolate, in my opinion, Alice Medrick. Now, the beauty about this chocolate sauce is it's made to highlight good quality chocolate. And that's what I've got here, some guitar from down in Brisbane. 72% cocoa, it's bittersweet chocolate, delicious just by itself, but it really makes a really good chocolate sauce. Now, one of the advantages of using this particular type is it comes in the form of little wafers or pastilles. Now the beauty of having chocolate in this form is it makes it really easy to melt and you can get it nice and smooth when you're blending it in, which is what I'm going to do now. I'm going to take my 10 ounces, I've already measured it out, 10 ounces of chocolate. I'm going to put it in the top of my uh, glass double boiler. I'm going to add my uh, half a cup of milk. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this over heat, over some simmering water in the uh, bottom part of my double boiler, making sure that the bottom of the top glass section does not actually touch the water. It, it will get more than enough heat just from sitting above it. So I'm going to stir it to get it nice and smooth. Well, that's certainly nice and smooth and evenly melted. So I'm going to take it off the heat. And thanks to the magic of video editing, I've compressed the 10 minutes it took to get that melted to this particular point where it's nice and smooth. Time for the final step, which is to take one half teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now I'm using a vanilla extract that I brought back from Costa Rica, but it's not necessary to go that far to get it. Your local Trader Joe's or Whole Foods will have an excellent one available. Uh, I might suggest you get organic. So I'll put that in. Uh, I always cheat a little bit, a little bit more vanilla. The recipe is 10 ounces of bittersweet chocolate, semi-sweet, bittersweet a half a cup of milk, and one half teaspoon of vanilla extract, although I get, that's a generous half teaspoon. So what we do is we blend it again to make sure that the uh, vanilla is nicely distributed. And boy, the smell from this chocolate right now is just fabuloso, let me tell you. That's the beauty of make, using really good quality chocolate. Okay, now that I've got it all evenly distributed, the time has come to put it in my serving bowl. Now in this form, it's, it's ideal for pouring over strawberries and ice cream, which is what I'm going to be using it for. You could also dip fruit in it. And if you're not going to be using it right away, one of the things you can do is just cover this with plastic, put it in the refrigerator, and then very gently reheat it when it comes time to use it. Boy, that smells good. I'm really looking forward to this. I can guarantee you that you're going to like this chocolate sauce.